Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to easily change backgrounds in After Effects. Let's begin. This is one of the easiest methods you can use because I won't be using Photoshop, Content Aware Fill, or anything like that. I'll simply swap the background and track it, and it'll still look super smooth. First let's drag and drop the background image, in my case I will be using this one. Let's press S and scale it since it's too large. I've also picked an image that fits my video perfectly. Both the video and the image have sunsets, so the color correction will be easy too. Since it's a still image, We'll need to track and animate it first so it matches the movement of the background. Let's toggle off the image first and then select the clip and click on track camera and wait until analyzing is done. Once it's done, we can select some points in the background. Then right click and select create null and camera. Now toggle on the image background you're going to swap. Then select the track null layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Copy that position, make sure 3D is enabled on the image layer, and paste the position onto it. Now press S on your keyboard and scale the image until it fits the clip perfectly. Let's check if it's tracked accurately. Everything looks good. Now let's fix the edges by simply scaling the video a bit more to fill them in. Once everything is fixed and looks good to you, duplicate your clip and move it above the image and track null layers. Then delete the 3D camera tracker effect from the duplicated clip, and select the roto brush tool. Make sure you're at the beginning of that layer, then double click on it. Now use the roto brush to carefully rotoscope the car, isolating it smoothly from the background. Once you are done, bump up the feather to about 10 and then set reduce chatter to 100%. Now click the freeze button. After it finishes freezing, close the rotoscoping window. Now as you can see the background image behind the car already looks pretty cool, but there are still a few things we need to fix. The first thing we should fix is the edge here, we need to smooth it out using a mask. There are two ways to do this, you can either apply the mask directly to the image, or create a new solid layer and use that to control the mask. Using a solid makes things a lot easier and more flexible. Create new solid layer. Name it mask and then set the size to about 2500 by 2500 and then click OK. Move the mask solid below your image, then set the image's track mat to the mask solid. To do that, first click on toggle switches slash modes and then change your image layer's track mat to the mask layer. Now let's create a mask. Make sure the mask layer is selected, then double click the rectangle tool to apply a mask to cover the entire solid layer. Now the mask is ready and if you drag it, you'll see that it affects the image layer as well. Now we can start softening the edge. Select the bottom part of the mask like this, then drag it up until it reaches the point where the image background begins. Now select the left point of the mask and adjust it to fit your background perfectly. Then select the right point of the mask and adjust it to match the background as well. Once you are done, open the mask settings and increase the feather to soften the edge of the background. I will also decrease the mask expansion just a little bit. Looks good to me. Now we can quickly check the video. I like it, it looks so smooth to me. In case you need to correct the rotation of the background, feel free to select it and adjust the X, Y, and Z rotations. Once you're done, the last step is color correction. Let's select the clip and apply the Lumetri color effect to it. Under basic correction, I'll increase the temperature to make the video a bit warmer. I'll also bump up the contrast a little. It looks fine to me, so let's copy that Lumetri color effect and then paste it on an isolated car layer, the one we have rotoscoped. Looks good to me. So one more last thing and we are done. Make sure to enable motion blur on the background image layer. This will add blur during movement, making the video look more realistic and smooth. Click on toggle switches slash modes and simply enable motion blur on an image layer and we are done. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, and let me know if you'd like to see more advanced background swapping methods.